Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the prophet Ezekiel. Um, if you watched last week's video, we talked about him too. If you missed it, you can go ahead and watch it um, anytime you want. And today's lesson is called Ezekiel and the Dry Bones. And you can grab your Bibles and follow along in Ezekiel chapter 37. So let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this day that you've given us. Thank you for who you are, Lord, and for what you've done and for, and for what you keep doing now, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for never leaving us, for never leaving us on our own, Lord, to do what we want, but for always correcting us and disciplining us, Lord. Please keep doing so, Lord, and, and help us, Lord, to be more like you each day. Lord, I pray for everyone watching this message that they may learn from it, Lord, and that they may obey your word. Please help them, Lord, to each day seek you and, and to get to know you more and more. And to fall more in love with you, Lord, each time that they read your word and, and they get to know who you are. Um, I pray for those who don't know of you, Lord. Um, help them, Lord, to know who you are, Lord, and that they may come to have a relationship with you, Lord. Um, thank you, Lord, for everything you do, and please help us throughout this whole week, Lord, to keep seeking you. And in the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Okay, let's begin. So if you remember, after King Solomon, the kingdom of Israel was divided into two. So at this time, the people of Israel were divided into two kingdoms, Israel and Judah. But they had both been attacked by the Babylonians and were scattered from their nation. The Lord, however, had a plan to save his people. One day, the Lord picked up the prophet Ezekiel and set him down in the middle of a valley. The valley was covered with bones and they were very dry. God asked Ezekiel, can these bones live? What do you guys think? Can those bones live? And Ezekiel said, Lord God, only you can know that. So God said, say to these bones, dry bones, this is what the Lord says to you. I will make flesh grow on you and cover you with skin. I will put breath in you so that you come to life. Ezekiel spoke to these bones as God said. While he was speaking, there was a great rattling sound. All around, the bones began to come together, bone by bone. As Ezekiel watched, Flesh grew on them and skin covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then God said, say this, breath, come from the four winds and breathe into these bodies. Ezekiel did as God said, and the breath entered them. They came to life and stood on their feet. These bones are like the people of Israel, God said. They say, our bones are dried up and our hope is dead. Go and say this to the people. The Lord says, I am going to raise you up and lead you into the land of Israel. I will put my spirit in you and you will live. Then you will know that I am Yahweh. God also said, Take a stick and write on it Judah. Then take another stick and write on it Israel. Hold them both together in your hand so that they become one stick. When the people ask what this means, tell them. This is what God says. I will gather the Israelites from all around. I will make them one nation again with one king to rule them. They will no longer worship idols, and I will cleanse them from their sins. They will live in the land that I gave to Jacob, 
They will live in it forever with their children and grandchildren. My dwelling place will be with them. I will be their God and they will be my people. So God wanted Ezekiel and the whole nation of Israel to know that it is his word that brings life. And when God says that his word brings life, he is talking about spiritual life. In the most hopeless of situations, God's word is powerful to bring resurrection life. God showed Ezekiel a vision of the Valley of Dry Bones. The dry bones remind us what we are like when we sin. And God had a plan for people who sin. Because Jesus came to earth, died, and was raised to life, he has the power to give us eternal life. Without Jesus, we are spiritually dead, just like the old dry bones. And when we are spiritually dead, we can't have a relationship with God the way we are supposed to. So God showed Ezekiel his power to make dead people alive again when he brought the bones back to life. God showed his power in a similar way later on. And it was at the cross. At the cross, Jesus died to save sinners. But on the third day, God raised Jesus from the dead, just like he did to the dry bones. And when we trust in Jesus, he gives us eternal life, raising us from the dead spiritually and giving us new hearts that are alive with the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen to that. Again, you can read this lesson for yourselves in Ezekiel chapter 37. If you have any questions, feel free to watch this video again or send us your questions and we'll be happy to answer them for you. Um, we will be having a memory verse this week, so keep on watching and I can't wait to see you guys again. Bye! Hi everybody! I miss you guys and I hope that you guys are learning a lot from these Bible lessons every Wednesday. For this week's memory verse is Ezekiel 37 verse 5. This is what the Lord God says to these bones. I will cause breath to enter you and you will live. So why is memorizing scripture so important? Well, one, it helps us overcome sin. Two, it strengthens our faith. And three, it gives us joy and peace of knowing who God is and what he truly has done. So this is why we need to memorize scripture. This is why it's important. And if we truly love Jesus, we should do it out of gratitude. We should do it because we love him. And let's do it, you guys. Let's memorize the scriptures together. Okay? Well, have a good day and stay tuned. Question 1 says, What happened to the bones when Ezekiel spoke God's words to them? A. The bones disappeared. B. The bones began to speak. C. The bones came together. Or D. The bones ran away. The correct answer is C. The bones came together. Question 2. What was missing from the bones? A. Skin B. Clothes C. Hair or D. Breath The correct answer is D, 
breath. Question 3. Who were these bones like? A. Like the people of Israel? B. Like the animals from Noah's Ark? C. Like the people from Sodom and Gomorrah? Or D. Like Lazarus? The correct answer is A, like the people of Israel. Question 4. Whom did each stick represent? A, Syria and Babylon? B, Egypt and Jordan? C, Judah and Israel? Or D, believers and unbelievers? The correct answer is C, Judah and Israel. Question 5. When the two sticks became one, what did it represent? A, the sticks would become one tree. B, God's people would be one nation. C, the people would become one flesh. Or D, God's people would share one heart. The correct answer is B. God's people would be one nation. Question 6. What happens when we are spiritually dead? A. We can't have a relationship with God the way we are supposed to. B. We are able to recognize our sin. C. We can obey God. Or D. We can't walk. The correct answer is A. We can't have a relationship with God the way we are supposed to. Okay, this is the last question. What plan did God show Ezekiel? A. His plan to make several nations. B. His plan to bring the Israelites back to their land and give them new life. C. His plan to make his people like dry bones. Or D his plan to take away the people's breath. The correct answer is B, his plan to bring the Israelites back to their land and give them new life.